hello guys welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can make this you know tire uh, using a surface modeling workbench so complete surface modeling workbench we are just going to use uh, in order to make this uh, modeling so this looks very beautiful uh, so before going to start today's topic i'll just um, wanted to inform you that i'm going to split this video into many parts because you can see here there, there are a lot of features that are existing in uh, uh, in part navigator so we have to create each and every feature so this will take a lot of time if i do it in a single video so i'm going to split these uh, videos and uh, i will try to make it in within two two parts if not possible uh, then we will go for uh, third part as well so what i will do is um, so now uh, we, uh, in this tutorial in this part of video i'm going to show you uh, how we can make this pattern as you can see is whatever the feature we have here so this feature i'm going to show you whatever the ellipse feature we have in this tire so this i'm going to show you today so now what i will do is i'll just go to new file and i will keep a modeling and i'll just click ok so once you click ok as you can see we have a 3d modeling workbench here so what i will do is i'll just go to uh, plane here so date and plane i wanted to create a date and plane with a atm you know distance and i'll just click ok so on this plane i'm going to create a sketch so let me go to sketch and select this plane and click ok so now we are into a uh, sketcher environment so i'll just create a simple ellipse here so go to ellipse and keep these dimensions measure diameter and minor radius so measure radius and uh, i'll just click over here and let me click ok so now we need to provide a dimensions so so this length of dimension i will just provide and also these two will be you know 41.9 and whatever this measure radius will be 92 okay so now uh, whatever the, this distance is it is 118.9 okay so now uh, that's all and also this point should lie on this x axis so go to point on a you know curve so this point should be lying on this x axis okay so that's all guys if i have here so we can just you know finish the sketch and now what i will do is i will just go to sketch environment on this plane okay so we have to make a one more sketch here so i'll just make that one more sketch as well so here i'll just draw a single arc here so from this to this okay so this arc and then there is a straight line so let me draw that straight line okay and also we have a straight line on this as well okay and this these two points should be you know um tangent so let's press c and make these two tangent okay and this point should lie on this x axis so point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve okay and this should be construction so just make this as a construction line and we have a distance between this to this so let me give a distance of here to here it should be 48.7 okay and there is a radial dimension for this so radial dimension will be so 517.9 okay so now let us see why it is if i so this center point okay the dimension is taken from the you know 48.7 is taken from this center so it should not be from the center it should be from this y axis so let me redefine this so first object is this second object we have to change it to here okay okay so now what i have to do is i'll just uh, delete this and uh, let's go to wrap dimension so from this point to this y axis it should be 48.7 okay now it came to here let's fit this now okay so the distance between this top point to this x axis is 226.7 okay and now what we have to do is we have this dimension as well so this dimension is 7.2 okay 
so now i have to give some fillet here so between this to this there is an fillet of 24.7 mm okay and uh, so that's all we have here so what i'll do is i'll just uh, finish the sketch and now what we can do is we can just go to revolve so i'm going to revolve this second sketch and my vector will be along this direction and the point of you know the revolution will be this point so let me keep it as a sheet and click ok so now we have received this uh, sheet guys so now what we have to do is i will just project this curve onto this surface so go to curve and project curve so first sketch should be projected on this and now the vector is along negative x-axis so select this and just reverse it okay click ok so now whatever the you know surface we have here uh, whatever the curve we have here this is projected on this curve uh, sorry surface so let me hide unnecessary things so this uh, plane is not required this sketch is not required so this sketch is also not required so now as you can see here uh, whatever we have this uh, you know curve right so i will just offset this curve on this surface so go to offset curve in a face and let us keep everything same and here click here and now this should be 12 mm and we need to provide a face so this face and it should be you know opposite direction click ok ok guys so now we have got this you know two curves on this surface so now what i have to do is i will just you know trim this uh, surface so go to surface and trim sheet so i am going to trim this face ok using this one boundary and this is second boundary and it should be keep click ok so once you do this in this way uh, you will get only this uh, surface so now what i will do is i will just you know extrude this so it should be extruded so let me go to extrude curves ok extrude and this curve this curve i am going to extrude should be in the opposite direction Okay, so the direction is in different manner. So let me give a dimension direction along this axis. Okay, so this offset will be uh, 0 to so it should be 25. So minus 25 we can just provide and you can just keep it as a sheet and click OK. okay so this boolean operation we can keep it as a none and now we can click ok so now we, as you can see here we have got this so now what i will do is i will just pattern this curve so whatever the face we have so let us go to pattern uh, geometry so also the copy and pattern geometry so this geometry i am going to pattern along this direction so it should be in the opposite direction and specify the point okay so it should be linear okay so the direction is along this and it should be reversed and the pitch will be 25 mm okay just click ok so now as you can see here uh, this is completely filled okay so now what we have to do is we will just sieve everything so let us go to sieve and select any one body and select all the bodies and click ok okay so once you sieve this uh, you will have a solid body inside so if you want to see that so you can just go to edit clip section so now as you can see here inside it is completely solid so whenever you are you know uh, making a cu command uh, for any closed surfaces so it will lead into a uh, solid body okay so now i will just provide a chamfer here so let us go to chamfer okay here is a chamfer so inside i will just provide 8 mm okay click apply and outside i will just provide 3 mm and just click ok so inside let us uh, reduce it to 1.5 ok so now we can just click ok so now what i will do is i will just go to sketcher environment so let's go to sketch on um, this plane click ok so now i am going to make a sim simple line here so this line now let me dimension this so go to linear dimension and 
from this point to this point it is 102.2 okay and between this point to this point it is 21 and again from this point to this x axis it is 23.6 okay from this point again okay i think uh, we are left with only one dimension so from this point to this point it is 129.8 okay so now let's finish this sketch so i'll just finish the sketch so now what i will do is i'll just project this curve on this surface so let's go to project curve so here is my project curve so i'm going to select this and object should be i'll just make a single face so this face and this face only these two faces i'm going to uh, project so it will should be along this direction and we need to reverse the direction and you can just click ok so now as you can see here our uh, projected uh, curve is generated let us create an uh, now datum plane on this one so i'll just go to plane and uh, let me create a curve and on this curve at this point i'm going to create so now let's click ok so i'll just go to sketch element on this plane ok here is that so now what i'll do is i'll just make an uh, shape here so which is like this okay okay so that's all we have do we can do in this uh, so, you know plane so if you want you can just provide you know uh, some dimensions to this so i'll just keep it as it is so i'll just make you know close to, to this I'll finish the sketch. So now I'll just go to extrude and I'll just select these three curves and let me extrude this along this direction as well as on this direction. So now click, keep it as a solid and click OK. So now as you can see here we have got this. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll just make a pattern for this. So go to pattern geometry. I'll just go to insert associative copy and pattern geometry. So this geometry I'm going to pattern and it should be along a line. So along a path. So I'm going to select this path. Okay. And uh, select a path. Sorry. So this path. I'm going to select and now. Uh, so the count and pitch I have to provide. So count should be 8 and the pitch should be 3 okay so it should be in the reverse direction so let us make it as a reverse direction okay on this direction we have got this bodies okay so now i'll just click okay so in the same way i'm going to do it on the other curves as well so go to geometric constraint again and select this surface sorry extrude and along the path so let us select our path now so this is my path and it should be in the reverse direction now and it should be 6 and the number of should be 6 and let us keep this as a 3 and click ok so now as you can see here ok so now what i will do is i will just mirror these uh, whatever the features we have so let us go to mirror feature so mirror geometry so associate with copy and mirror geometry so i am going to select this geometry as well as this geometry and this extrude so the plane will be along this plane okay click ok so now we need to you know subtract the bodies so let us subtract this so go to subtract and select this body and i have to select this 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 and this okay click ok so now you can see here our uh, texture has came here so let me hide the curves okay as you can see here we got this beautiful surface here okay guys so now what i'll do is i'll just go to sketcher environment so let me go to sketch and i'll just select so on path sorry guys okay so it should be a new plane and i'm going to select this plane 
and now let me give an horizontal so this is my horizontal and it should be in a reverse direction and my point will be this center point okay so I'll just click okay so once you click okay as you can see here we have got this so now here I'm going to draw a sketch so let me go into an arc here so this is my arc so let's go to an arc and draw an arc here okay so in the same way I'm going to draw on one more arc so for these arcs, I am not going to constrain them. So I will just keep it as it is. Okay. So I will just draw these two. And let me go to draw this as well. So now let me extend this and trim this. Okay. So there is the one more. Okay, in the same way, I am going to do it on the bottom as well. So, let us go to an arc and which is like this and in the same way, should be like this and let me draw a line here. So, this line should be like this and this should be like this and now I am going to extend this. So, okay and trim the extra lines. So, there is an extra line over here and here as well as here. Okay. Okay. So, now what I will do is let us keep it as it is like this. Okay. So, what I will do is I will just finish the sketch now. Okay, finish the sketch. So now I am going to extrude this on both the sides. So let's go to extrude and select this sketch, and it should be in the symmetric value. So let me extrude this up to here. And now what I'll do is I'll just remove this material. So it should be removed, subtracted from this body, and click OK. So now what I'll do is I'll just provide an edge blends here. So go to edge blends and select this and this 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 in the same way I am going to select this this ok click apply so now as you can see here uh, we have got this so once it is done so now we have you can so you know we this is a one feature so that we have got so now we have to do you know pattern this so in order to do that what i will do is i will just go to insert menu and uh, associative copy and pattern geometry so this geometry i am going to pattern so it should be in a circular pattern and we have an so this along x axis it should be patterned okay so now we have to give a count and pitch so go to count and pitch and now the count will be 5 and pitch will be 72 okay so now we, as you can see here and just click ok so once you click ok as you can see we have got all the five you know these ellipse shapes so that's all for today's uh, you know uh, tutorial guys so in the next tutorial i will continue doing this uh, tire model so please stay tuned and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys